Good morning. Good morning, sir. So yesterday we discussed uh, till the individual level of uh, self development. Okay, so at individual level, we discussed motivational pattern, locus of control, and power base. Okay, now we are moving ahead with the. I hope you remember we discussed motivational pattern at three approaches. Traditional approach, human uh, relations approach, and human resources approach. So for locus of control, we have two types of uh, people. One is internal locus of control, and another one is external locus of control. And uh, power basis, we have so many powers which uh, people will exert, and they will get their works done by others. Okay. So next one is interpersonal needs. So this is at the transaction level okay so it is i just quickly go back you can see that it is interpersonal level that is interpersonal needs and transaction analysis so what the human resource uh, development professionals has to know about here is um at the interpersonal level people will start comparing themselves with others okay and in that concern this person thomas a harris he has been explained the life positions okay he explained it in the four positions here you can see that he has been explained it in four situations i am okay you are okay i am not okay you are not okay okay i'll tell you what this is uh, kindly understand the difference between these four okay first one is i am okay you are okay our uh, first one is very positive life situation okay here what happens people will think that whatever i do it's good it's fine it's correct it's perfect okay and they will think that you are also okay they will respect your work also um they will respect your feelings your emotions they'll have uh, empathy over others that is his first question uh, first uh, position i am okay you are okay okay the second situation is i am okay you are not okay only whatever i do it's fine only i am okay i know everything i know perfectly how to handle the situation i have taken the correct decision but you don't know anything you are not okay whatever you do i'll have criticism in that and i will be finding out one or the other fault or one or the other mistake and you are not completely okay for me okay the third situation is here it is reverse people will think i am not okay they will not have confidence on themselves whatever they do they will think that uh, others are better than them others are doing better than uh, them okay so that is i am not okay they don't always they doubt doubt themselves but they don't doubt on others they will think that others knows better others can do better okay others are doing better all that they will have that uh, sense of mind and they will degrade them own self okay the last one is the position where he'll feel uh, the person will feel i am not okay you are also not okay okay they will not have confidence they'll not have hope only they'll not have faith only to think that they are also fine others also fine so they will think that whatever i'll do i am not at all okay and whatever you do also i don't like okay these kind of people will be very depressed kind of people they would have seen so many failures in their life and they will not they, they will not be trusting anybody here okay so this is these are the four life, different life positions is that clear ma'am um, can you repeat it i just missed out that part which one ma'am uh, uh, this one only that uh, that figure that you explained you know life position okay ma'am here you have to uh, imagine yourself the first situation is uh, you will be very positive you will think i am okay i know everything i can take rational decision other human beings are also okay they also can take rational decision so whatever they do is also correct whatever i'll do it's also correct 
okay you will not criticize anybody's work you will think that even i know something that is why i am here uh, even others know something that is why they are there wherever they are okay but second situation is i am okay you are not okay you think that only you are superior you know everything you can only take the decision you have done some degree in it so it's like that but you will you will think that others are not okay others don't know anything that kind of feeling will be there then the third position is i am not okay you are okay here you will be doubting your own capability your own self and you will think that um i only know everything i can take rational decision but others doesn't know anything you are okay okay so you are fine so here the last situation is i am not okay you are not okay these kind of people are failure people um they have seen so many losses in their life and uh, they think that they don't know anything they can't take a proper decision and others also cannot advise them properly so here they don't have believe on themselves also they don't have believe on others as well is that clear ma'am uh, okay ma'am thank you okay the next one is transactional analysis okay so here transactional analysis see there will be three kinds of people in this eric bernay he has explained there will be three kinds of people few people will be with the parent ego state in the company few will be adult ego state and few will be adult child ego state okay people at the parent you will have all these three kinds of people also you will have in the bank or in the company so if i tell you you will realize see parent ego state will be like few people will be there they will always want to nurture you they will pamper you like a parent okay you know, if you do any mistake they'll come near you they will correct you they will guide you they will tell you all the ethical values okay you will have no that uh, elderly feeling wala people so this kind of people are like that they will completely act like a parent okay then even if they criticize also they will correct you on that aspect then we have adult ego state there will be few kind of people who will think that man is a social animal man is a rational animal so man knows uh, what to do what not to do they will be very practical very analytical whatever you do they'll think from the point of view of logic okay and uh, they don't mind criticizing you in front of anybody mm, they will not correct you they'll just criticize you that kind of people will be adult ego state there will be few people who is like a child okay so you know child in the sense of how emotional the behavior will be how creative the person will be Ch- children are very creative you know you buy them one toy they will completely disassemble okay uh, the complete toy and they will uh, try to assemble it back and they will check what is there inside that kind of people very creative very curious spontaneous people will be at the child ego state okay we have three child ego state here okay uh, we have uh, one is uh, natural child okay other one is uh, adopted child and the third one is little professor okay there are three kind of uh, children in the workplace if we say child ego state see why this is been categorized here this is the first one natural child few people will be like a natural child like you, you know how the natural children will be um they can demand anything they will demand only from parents they will expect from parents they will fight for they want all that okay they will not accept whatever you give them uh, they will fight for it they will, they want whatever they like these kind of people are the natural children then we have adopted child few people will be there um like a, what is who is adopted child they know that they have been adopted they have been blessed by uh, get, getting adopted by the parents so what they do whatever you give they will accept they will not demand they will not resist for anything so that kind of people will also be there like natural children also people will be there um, they will cross question they want whatever they want okay they will demand for it all that they do in the company Ado- like adopted children also you will be there uh, adopted children like um, whatever manager says they follow whatever management send the instructions they'll follow all that they'll do they don't question it 
And then we have little professors. So these kind of people, um, you know how the children will not accept whatever you say. They just want to exper uh, experiment. They do, they learn from the experiments. They will not believe whatever you say. Thousand questions they will ask. These kind of people will also be there. Okay, if you ask them to do some work, they'll be asking some thousand questions, and then uh, I mean, uh, they will be asking so many questions, and they will go ahead with the work. They'll be curious, experimental. Um, then they'll be very creative. All these kind of uh, child we call it as a little professors, and those kind of people will also be there in the company. I hope it is clear. Three state of uh, people. Uh, parent ego state, adult ego state, and child ego state. A child, we have three, natural child, adopted child, and the little professor. Okay, this is about at the interpersonal level. Then we have group level. Okay, this is very important. Uh, yes, sir. What is the main difference between child and the previous screen, madam? Difference between sorry sir, can you uh, repeat? Uh, child ego state and adult ego state, madam. Sir, adult is uh, you will behave very logical. Whatever you do, you ha you'll have some logic in it. You think that others knows others also like a grown up. They will they will know their rational behavior. They know what to be done and what to be avoided. And if something goes wrong, you will directly criticize them. You will be very practical enough in the adult ego state. Child ego state is these kind of people will be very creative, curious. Okay, they will be spontaneous, very emotional behavior will be having. Like a children, oh, easily get, easily few people will get attached to so Those kind of people will be there in the company. As soon as they'll come, they'll become friends with everybody. They'll go talk to them, all that they'll do. Okay, so that is a child ego state. Then we are moving ahead with the group level. See, at the group level, this is the synergy that they will follow in the workplace. You people have to remember this. They may ask you um, either the uh, continuous of the thing, suppose they'll ask you what is the flow of the synergy of the people at the workplace. So they'll give you options starting from storming, norming, confirming, performing, and forming. They'll give you norming, storming, forming, confirming, and performing. Otherwise, they'll give you this. Um, one, more, one option will be this um, combination. You have to select this will be the right one. Okay. So what is forming here? Awareness. Once you work in the group, um, you have to understand the team's goal and its role. Okay. That awareness should be there among the people. So what to be done, why you are being in that particular team, what is the goal of that particular team, what is your role to play, okay? So all that, what is everybody's role, individual's role, you have to understand. So that is forming. Then we have storming. Storming is conflict. Whenever there will be two, three people working, even at home also, if two, three people are there, then obviously there will be a conflict, right? Even let it be a parent with children or husband, wife, all that whenever there are more than two people or more than one people there will be some conflict so you're here you're working in a team you're working in the uh, team of some 10 to 8 to 10 people so always the conflicts will arise what they'll tell you is you have to uh, sort that uh, sort it out that conflict and you have to go ahead the third one is norming norming is cooperation that is what whatever the conflict is you have to completely depend on the rules and performance standards and you have to follow up with your performance then we have confirming confirming is adjusting with the team expectations and norms adjustments it every time required uh, it's like see if you have discussion in a group if one person is telling you something you may not agree okay but all you'll do is at that point of time, you will adjust and you will go ahead because you should you want to maintain the decorum of that group. You did not question anything and you are just agreed for it and you are going ahead. Then the last one is performing, that is productivity. Um, see, when, when all these four above is followed, uh, you are aware of the goal, you are resolving your conflicts, you are cooperating with the group uh, work, Okay, then you are adjusting when you are going ahead. You are not creating any problem for the group. 
and then last one is performing with all these if you perform then there will be complete uh, complete productivity improvement in the productivity and there will be lot of work that will be completed by the group okay? and completion of and the completion of work will be on time okay then we'll have this is at the interpersonal level uh, sorry this is at the group level so i hope it is clear i'll just go back see what and all we discussed at individual level we discussed motivational pattern locus of control and power base at interpersonal level we had interpersonal needs that is uh, life positions we discussed transactional analysis uh, parent ego state uh, adult ego state at the little uh, like child ego state at group level we discussed uh, what is the synergy that will be followed okay that was about the self development now we'll discuss about the self awareness hrd department they have to concentrate on how they can create the awareness among the people self awareness okay so they can adopt the johari window see this is a very famous window Uh, like it has been given in the two by two matrix. Okay, here on the x-axis, known to self and not known to self. Here, known to others and not known to others. Okay, kindly concentrate and uh, understand the difference between all these four. Okay, so here, sorry, we have four uh, windows. Okay, so here, first one is arena, second is blind, third is closed, and fourth one is dark. okay here what happens is a person we call it as open self they know what they are uh, i suppose i know what i am i know my own ability i know my own capability okay i know about me everything in what sense i am good in what sense i don't know anything in what sense i'll have partial knowledge or complete knowledge i know okay it's known to self even i know what others feel about me i know what you people are thinking about me how you people are taking me okay so i know everything i know about me i know how others uh, knows about me how others perceive about me that, that also i know so these kind of people are open self people and we call it as arena okay the second one is blind see not aware of how others perceive here i i don't i know about only about me okay i don't know what you perceive about me whether you are taking me positive okay whether you are uh, taking me negative i don't know how you people are perceiving me but i know about me okay third one is closed closed here is you would have seen few people they have they will wear mask and come for the company or bank uh, they will be something else at home but they will pretend to be something else at the workplace these kind of people madam, we call madam, as closed madam, kind of people madam that uh, uh, blind people uh, blind yes, people, not known to self means i am not i am not aware of myself but others know about me right sir? right ma'am sir others knows about me but no. i don't know what they know about me oh okay okay you know me sir we are speaking now okay now you know me as a faculty of ibs i know you participant in the class but yeah. you don't i don't know how you are taking me whether you are okay. taking me positive negative that i don't know sir okay okay okay, okay. then i was speaking about the closed see few people they will pretend to be positive somewhere like they will wear mask and come uh, to the company they pretend that we are they are very positive kind of people but at at home they are completely different very possessive very short tempered people they are but they'll pretend that they are very good they will they want others to perceive how they how they want okay so they want us to think positive about them that is why they behave like that then we have dark here we don't know about our self we don't know how others perceive about us both way we are dark we do even i don't know what is my capability what are my strengths what is my weaknesses i don't know anything about me and i don't know what you people are thinking about me as well that is dark okay so i hope it's clear 
then we have emotional intelligence see in emotional intelligence hrd professional they have to understand and they have to make people aware about themselves so they have to concentrate on five aspects okay see every individual should be aware of their own self just uh, yesterday session i told you if somebody ask you to talk about yourself we can't speak more than one and a half minute or two minutes it's just like we'll tell our name our family background our uh, our marriage then we'll tell about two three hobbies that's all we can't talk more than two minutes but if you ask about others they can talk for half an hour one hour okay and one hour may not be enough for it that is why uh, what we are why we'll do like that because we are not about not aware about our own self okay so what this emotional intelligence tells here is you should have the ability to understand your own moods your own emotions your own derives and okay all these you should be knowing you should know completely about your own self that is self awareness then self regulation you should have control over your disruptive impulses and moods see sometimes in the workplace i think you people also have been experienced that few people will be very short tempered they will react for every situation okay they'll be very rude at a time and then later they'll come and apologize what is the use okay you actually yelled at me in front of everybody and now you have come alone to tell me sorry will that make any difference no so firstly what you have to do is you have to self regulate we should have a control over our own disruptive impulses then we should be see self motivation is the best motivation at any time we should motivate our own self we should not depend on others to motivate us we only have to create some passion we only have to create some objective okay and we have to get motivated self then we have empathy its uh, ability to understand the emotional uh, like you see there will be few people they will think that they are only correct they don't have that emo, uh, respect for the emotions of others see others also human beings you should respect the emotions of others you should understand what they are going through okay the last one is social skills here so everybody should have the social skills they should manage people they should uh, develop the relationship they have to build that network and create the rapport among the employees then we have talent management this is another concept so talent management is very important in the company it is given by mckinsey and the company uh during the year 97 to 98 this talent management concept tells you that every company should work on the talent they have to retain the talent they have to uh, work on development of the talent of the people so i'll tell you how it will happen so at the initial stage itself when you hire people you should see that you'll be hiring the talented people so every organization uh, especially the mncs you can see thousands of applications will be there out of that only two three people will be selected that that's what uh, vacancy was available so out of thousand if you are selecting two that means you are selecting best out of best right after passing on so many interviews you have been selected one person so then now when you hire them it doesn't mean that uh, there is a full stop in their learning there is a full stop in whatever they have been learned no they can keep learning you can arrange some classes for them you can give the reimbursement for the courses that they'll take up okay then based on exams uh, you can conduct the aptitude test and give them the promotion so all that will be happening here uh, you will be working on the talent management you should provide them subscription for newspaper subscription for some news channels okay so it will be better so then and there the knowledge will be upgraded then uh, very often send them for training maybe for every 3 months for every 6 months one training will be there so there will be development of people in this one of the main activity of the uh, talent management is succession planning okay see so what is succession planning here is i'll give you one example okay so one example i'll give you uh, there is a restaurant okay you are uh, you are running one restaurant and it's doing really good okay 
people are liking your food and all and there is one chef in it who's been uh, whose uh, preparation is really good you have been hired one chef uh, he has been uh, preparing the food and everybody is liking it and there will be a huge crowd uh, during breakfast lunch or dinner at the restaurant okay because people like the taste of this person suppose in future if uh, there are so many demands that is been created by chef and management is not agree and chef leave the job what will happen to your business it will affect me if it are good it will be hampered heavily business yeah. even if you hire some other chef also people may not like the taste the whatever one person uh, one person's taste is you can't find the same taste in the hands of other people okay so what but to overcome this what they can do is they can uh, when this chef chef will be working no during that time only they can place some three to four people as the helpers under them okay so that these three to four people will be learning of it so as they see they will work with them they will uh, and this person will be guiding uh, then three to four people will be trained in that suppose even if this person leaves also you will be having a backup because these people have learned from this person so they can manage maybe first few days there will be a problem but it's possible for them to manage so this is succession planning that is replacement planning in business you can't depend on people you can't depend on one or two people even in the partnership also you can't completely depend on your partner any time that partner can resolve the uh, partnership deed and they will go okay so whatever you do you should be knowing the process you should know how to handle it all that so this is like you are training these people for the future in contingency suppose if this chef uh, demands anything which is not uh, capable enough for the company to provide or company do not want to give so so many incentives or hike in the salary or you feel like demands are unnecessary then if, if that is a conflict then the chef obviously will leave the job so when that person leaves the job then you will have backup okay so in any company when you are uh, trying to keep the backup meet the contingencies of future that we call it as succession planning okay this is one of the method of uh, talent management the last concept here uh, is morale okay see uh, everybody's uh, every employee's morale has to be boosted up it should be from inside it's a, a spirit of a person or a group which you will boost it up okay so how you can boost it up there are few uh, boosters of employee morale one is welcome ideas see whenever you welcome the ideas from the people if they are really interested in okay so uh, they there will be for so many creative people in the company so they will come and tell you this is my idea this is how we can develop this strategy would work better this creativity will work better this creativity will bring this innovation so all that they will tell you and if you welcome that if you can if you consider that if you feel like yes you can go ahead with that particular strategy and employees will feel so good they'll feel worth in the company okay the next one is keep score keep score of the people who are working for example on the notice board you will mention uh, first employee who completed the task on time second third so from 1 to 10 the uh, whatever the ranking people are there you have been placed on the notice board so here the people who are at the 11th place or 12th place they will get motivated they also want to come in this uh, score they want to see their photograph on the notice board so in that case uh, what happens here is uh, it's like a motivating them if they see the other people name on the notice board so they will get motivated and they'll think that even we will work hard and next month our photo should be there on this notice board okay and then what you can do is to boost up the morale the boost up the spirit thank you note so suppose you, uh, you are getting some benefit from the work of the employees then you should send them the thank you note they'll feel good they'll feel better um, they'll think that our management are very much concerned about us okay and uh, they are very uh, friendly nature all these kind of positivity will be created uh, about the employer so immediately once you are getting some benefit out of that person you should send the thank you note the next one is huddle okay see huddle is something like uh, 
same on the notice board itself you will place the task for the day okay today's uh, today what is the task tomorrow you will place the photo of that person who completed the task okay along with this completed task person's photo you will place the another task for today okay and uh, assurance that if whoever completes a task today their photo will be on the notice board tomorrow okay that is will be the assurance so what people will do their morale will be boost up and they'll think that our photo should also be there on the notice board they will work hard on it okay and then open up open up is something like make them participative in management decision making so whenever management has to take up any decision they can call that person Uh, i mean they can call the team of employees and they can also allow them to speak up open up uh, they can give their view points on various uh, problems that the company is facing and if they, if they feel that it is appropriate then they can adopt and they can go ahead that is open up then the last one is add perks perks can be added refreshment like various facilities refreshment or subscription to club so indoor games outdoor games will be there okay gym facility will be there so so that every day at least half an hour or one hour employee can go and they can uh, uh, spend their time in their own hobbies whatever they have table tennis basketball all that at least half an hour uh, if not every day it's like uh, per week two days so the employees will feel so good in working in the company okay, this is the booster employee uh, boosters madam open up madam uh madam open up is uh, making them participate in the decision making suppose i am the management member i have conducted meeting for you all you have come to a meeting now you you will be given the chance to participate and open up for any problem you can give the solution okay you can suggest the management how to improve all that that is open up giving the freedom to speak okay okay so this is about the second unit so we are done with the first two units okay we discuss few multiple choice questions and then we'll go ahead okay yeah so now is the slide visible yes ma'am yes okay the first question is job evaluation is based on physical skills required by the job relative job work for an organization complexity of job to perform conceptual skills required for job complexity job for an organization d d okay anybody with different answer c b b related job job, job evaluation yes yes ma'am somebody is answering b b b madam b job yes job evaluation work. you will compare right you will compare and you will find out what is the relative job work for an organization that is job evaluation okay answer is b then who is in the best position to observe and evaluate on employees performance for the purpose of performance appraisal uh, peers the customers top management the immediate, immediate supervisor immediate supervisor yes immediate supervisor okay then the train the raters prior to conduct the performance appraisal is an important responsibility of whom top management hr department HR line department. managers hr department. 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 department hr department correct then we have which of the following is a stated outcome of job analysis description all specification the all of the book all the above all the above all the above, all the above. Yes. Yes. All the above. क्वेश्चन If the company defines authority and communication channel for employees, it is performing what function? Staffing, Staffing function, organizing, leading, or controlling? Controlling function. Defining the authority. Their only answer is there. When you are defining the authority, when you are 
deciding okay. about the communication Control. channels or organizing function. Controlling. controlling function. Controlling. What happens in controlling? Talking. You will follow, follow up, right, in controlling. B, madam. Organizing function. Organizing. Yes, B is the answer. You will define uh, the authorities, like how many people you require, how, who can give, who can be responsible, what is the hierarchy that you will follow in the company. So you are just defining. You are not giving the authority. Suppose if you are delegating the authority, then it becomes staffing. First step of HRD in any organization is determining development approaches, assessing mutual development, identifying, formulate HR plans. <laughs> Formulate of I have, yes, I have already told you if any kind of uh, practice or any kind of policy, the very first step will be planning. Okay, so here the answer is formulate HR plans. Process of improving ability of employees regarding the handling of assignment is called workforce staffing, career development, development, career planning. Improving ability of employees. Answer is development. Yes, C. Then, which of the following is not normally a sign of poor morale amongst the workforce? That means, which is a, which is a sign of morale? High level of absenteeism, high level of turnover, increased level of personal productivity. Increased level of personal productivity. Personal productivity. Yes, increased level of personal productivity. See, the actual achievement compared with the objective of the job is performance, evaluation, description, none of the above. Uh, description. Description. I'm just a minute. Actual achievement compared with the objectives. Job evaluation. Job evaluation. Job evaluation. Uh, the answer should be evaluation. Ma'am, what's your previous question, ma'am? Yeah, it is. it should be no, no. job evaluation. Yeah, yes, ma'am. This previous one, ma'am. Poor morale. Yeah, which is not a sign of uh, poor morale. That means which is uh, which is a sign of strong morale. Ma'am, I think this is a negative question, no, ma'am. Uh, yeah, negative. Which is not a uh, not normally a sign of poor morale. So this is not a sign of poor morale. No, if your personal productivity increased, that means your morale is boosted up. It is not a sign of poor morale. Okay. 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 Then we have the following is concerned with developing a pool of candidates in line with human resources. Is it development, training, recruitment, all of the above? Getting the pool of candidates. Training. Training. I will repeat, you are getting the pool of candidates. Recruitment. Recruitment. Or recruitment. All of recruitment. The recruitment. You are getting the pool of candidates. You are getting the applications from the candidates. So it's recruitment. Majority of disputes in industries are related to what kind of problem? Wages, salary, benefits, all of them. The following type of recruitment process is very costly affair. Uh, internal recruitment, external recruitment, cost external recruitment. Internal recruitment. Internal recruitment. Internal internal recruitment. Internal recruitment will be costlier. Yeah. The purpose of primary purpose, I'm repeating, primary purpose of training is learning related to present job, learning to prepare for a different but for an identified job, Learning for growth of the individual not related to any specific job, motivating employees for better performance. Primary purpose of training is to learn related to present job. Basic HR professional skills are supportive managerial process, all of the above. This is given by Uday Parikh okay, and TV Rao. Then four essential factors of competitive environment. People, product, process, and profit. Person, product, process, and profit. People, product, process, and perseverance. Yeah. 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 Okay. A key HR role in firm will be multidisciplinary consulting around individual, team, business, unit, all of the above. 
all of the all of the yeah whenever all of the above given we are concentrated so it's all of the above human resource management function does not involve recruitment selection cost, cost control cost control, control. Cost control. Cost control. Cost control. Not, yes it does not include cost control procedure of analyzing human capital availability and the need of human resources for organization is classified as hr planning recruitment planning, planning cost planning differentiation mm-hmm. planning a hr planning hr planning yes it's a hr planning then we have no one second the previous one sir procedure of analyzing human capital availability and uh, you will estimate what is the need of human resource for organization in future okay 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 then human resource strategy in which focus is mainly on cost control efficiency and business stability is classified as answer is in the question itself so you are trying to make organization centralized competency advantage cost leadership and differentiation three ma'am is cost leadership is c cost leadership yes hr plans of any organization does not include ma'am can you can you repeat that previous question <laughs> previous question okay human resource strategy in which focus is mainly on cost control cost control then efficiency and business stability so the answer is cost leadership question previous question we have eliminated that cost control no it is not one of their function but here again we are mentioning about cost control sorry sir in the previous question 1 2 3 uh, i think one question we have mentioned that which is not a is function not a function yeah ah. but here Uh, human resource strategy in which focus is mainly on cost control and efficiency because that is also now one of the function of them no sir it's only in the rare cases that's not their function but suppose if they are focusing then we call it as cost leadership they are oh. not uh, concentrating on reduction of the cost and all just they will give some of the view points on this but if the main focus is on this then they will work on only giving the view point on uh, to the leaders who are working on the cost control okay the, they are not directly involved in it okay 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 then we have hr plans of any organization does not include production personal plan. plan production plan compensation plan okay. training and development plan production plan that does production. not include production, production plan production yeah. plan your personal plan requires forecast of personal needs supply of inside candidates and supply of outside candidates all of the above all of the above all of the above yeah all of the above then we have which is the process of forecasting an organization's future demand for and supply of the right type of people in the right number hrp recruitment hrm hr planning hr planning hrm a forecasting an organization future of the people demand for it supply of it so planning capital yes. planning yes. hr planning only they have twisted the question that they have given okay then we have straight true or false uh, human resource planning facilitates international expansion strategy is it true or false false false, false. Why oh. false? False, false, oh, false. Is it in the international oh, expenses strategy? Is it not business strategy? Is it not HR? No. Sir, here if, uh, suppose if you are starting up of your branch there, will you not send any of your employees? Will you not transfer few people? Will do, yes, ma'am. ma'am. Yeah, there can, there is a positive possibility that you will transfer the people from here because you will have trust on it. They are doing really good here. and you want them also many people will go on projects right for different companies abroad right, no, but so, here expansion strategies means business expansion or employment uh, so for- part of it if you plan for expansion if you plan for companies expansion will you not plan for hr there definitely madam we will plan. you you require human resources right right skill right skill people you require whether right. to hire from there or you have to send from here 
what kind of training you will provide there how much of the compensation you should pay for it there also human resource planning requires right right correct okay. yeah so it is true then uh, see you have to rearrange they may give you some of the questions like this where you have to rearrange the steps like how i told you know forming norming storming uh, even that rearrangement will also be given so here uh, the rearrangement is so you can directly go to the options here first what are the op options given see option a tells you a is the first a is hr programming whether hr programming should come first no, or c c is environmental scanning okay environmental scanning is you will study about the environment around you and you will find out how many human resources you require what kind of people you have whether you have right skilled people how, how many people you require what should be their skills that is environmental scaling i is uh, first uh, first only you will go ahead with to find out what is the shortage and uh, d also i so now which which uh, according to you which can be the answer you can just see the first b b b b b answer is b you will do the environmental scanning right what kind of people is available how many people you require in the future okay so we discussed uh, so many questions now we'll move ahead with the next unit that is uh, human implications on organizations morale morale is morale just to morale is sir morale is boosting up energy sir like um they will be satisfying you so much that your energy will be boosted up suppose if you are being given the chance of uh, giving your views okay in the management decision making you feel good right uh, you feel worth sense of belongingness will be there uh, you feel like uh, they are not considering you separately they are considering you as the part of the organization so that will help you uh, satisfy yourself and your morale will be boosted up it's like boosting okay. up your energy and satisfaction level okay. Okay. okay next unit is all about behavior of the people see behavior of the people uh, will make or will have the impact on the organization in the very much okay it is very effective how in the sense uh, see whatever we do as a human resources that will have the reflection on the image of the company right so here what the hr uh, professionals should understand is every individual is unique nobody can be a uh, different uh, nobody can be same here see whatever i like you may not like whatever i do you don't want to do like that you will do in some different manner creatively you will do it okay and uh, see by birth only people's behavior will differ uh, then we will start learning uh, we'll go to school we'll learn some behavior then we'll go to college we'll learn from our friends then uh, friends and uh, teachers then when we when we are in our workplace we will learn everything around us whatever is going on around us we will start learning okay so people few qualities they will learn by birth few qualities they will learn in according to the surroundings they are in okay so see there are various factors which will have the effect on individuals behavior the first one is environmental factors in which kind of environment we are Uh, okay so suppose if your uh, environmental factors is economic social and political economic in the sense economic status of the people also have impact on the behavior you can see the big shots like uh, the rich people how they'll behave okay so it's like they have money they are uh, employed they are earning very good their behavior is uh, different uh, with the people who are earning on daily basis they are just earning their livelihood every day if they earn they can eat if they not they cannot so this kind of people's behavior will not be same with the people who are earning more okay then social can also be one of the factor for differentiation in the behavior if you know many people okay if you have so many contacts then your behavior will be completely different you know if you know one politician your behavior will be different if you know the top management people in the company your behavior will be different from the person who don't know all these people and the political also any changes in the environment politically government changes 
okay so uh, even uh, suppose employment opportunities who can provide this employment opportunities government only right so government can create the employment and they can give the opportunity so in the political decision taken by government will also have the impact uh, see for example uh, uh, exa- they will come up with the government exams right government placement vacancies will be th- vacancy will be 100 200 but when they release out so many people will apply and uh, uh, it's like 1000 2000 people will apply in that only 200 people will get the job and others all will be unemployed so unemployed people unemployed behavior i mean employed people behavior will be completely different from unemployed people personal factors will also have impact on our behavior our age okay see millennials can't be acting same like a uh, z generation z generation cannot be same like a baby bloomers so it's not age also matters your age will have the impact on our behavior gender female cannot act like a male male cannot act like the female difference education if you are highly qualified your behavior will be very uh, different with the people who have been qualified less abilities marital status if you are married you will behave in different manner if you are not married you are you will be here in different manner okay because number of dependents will not be there if you are not married number of dependents will be less one or two maybe your parents or even if your parents are learning earning their livelihood then you are a free bird so when you are a free bird your the behavior will be different as soon as the salary comes you will think where you want to spend okay you will not think twice also where you have to spend you will go ahead but suppose if you are married and you have children and all a uh, number of dependents will be more and you think if you if you can save you can save for their future and all okay then we have organizational factors organizational structure plays a very important role mm-hmm. and so it's like well, with in the hierarchy where you are suppose if you are a line manager okay i'm just giving if you are a manager your behavior will be different when mm-hmm. compared to the people who are at the lower level leadership if you are a leader your behavior differs if you are earning high if you have received some reward your behavior will have impact psychological factors yes your personality your perception your attitude values learning suppose if you perceive positive about someone then your behavior towards them will be positive if you perceive negative about someone then your behavior will be negative towards them all these are the factors which will have impact on the behavior of the people okay then we have few commonalities in the persons see we we all will have few few uh, qualities which is like every other person it's in common okay we'll have few qualities like some other persons we have very few qualities which only few people can have okay like uh, left hand uh, left handers okay so only few people can write from the left hand it's like quality we have like some other people okay mm-hmm. but like uh, like all other persons we all are uh, right handed people we will write from our right hand okay so that is co- that is common with everybody so it's like all other mm-hmm. people but some qualities will be having like uh, few people that is left handed people like no other person few people can write from uh, it's like both hands and legs okay you might have been seen it's like no other person you will have that uh, quality okay then we have a uh, personality in this you have to concentrate on the theories okay see personality is the characteristics that determine the common commonalities and differences in the psychological of the people okay so here what happens uh, personality is nothing but it's not only outlook even it uh, includes the inner sense of the person how they behave it is because of their personality the personality has been explained in the different theories several theories the first theory is given by friedman meyer and ro reisman they have been defined the people in two types of personality type a and type b personality okay now kindly find the uh, kindly know the difference of this type a they have told that there can be two types of personalities one is type a and another one is type b see type a people will be very restless impatient people they are multitaskers they'll try to schedule more and more in less time they will not wait for completion of one work 
at a time they will start with so many works and that is how they are not able to complete one work on time okay then it displays the nervous gesture uh, they will not uh, they will not have time to enjoy their life they will always be busy they will be insensitive they they are just go getter it's like whatever opportunities are there they want it only for themselves they easily grasp that opportunity and work okay so that is type a personality the dead opposite of type a personality is type b personality these kind of people will be very sociable people very relaxed they will complete they will not take another work until they complete the first one okay they are very humane people team uh, they want to work in team they'll see they'll not see the short term success they'll see the long term success okay and very systematic and method methodical they will be they'll follow one certain system and uh, methods to complete the procedure once they complete one task then only they will go ahead with another task okay i hope it's clear type a and type b uh, ma'am who formulate this theory ma'am type a type b anyone uh, friedman meyer and ray rosman friedman meyer okay okay yes then we have developmental model of personality which is given by e h erickson he has explained people will be having eight development stages okay so you how you can remember this is see if you have this qualities okay the first one then you will not be having the second one if you don't have this first uh, quality of behavior of this experience then you will develop these qualities okay i'll tell you how see first one is trust trust versus mistrust so suppose you trust me a lot what will be your behavior towards me if you trust me so much what you will do how your behavior will be with me positive as a trust or positive positive, positive, positive. you trust me positive. right you will tell all your secrets to me and you will tell not to tell others correct when uh, it's like that it's like the confidence that you create and you the trust you have but suppose if you don't have the trust what what will be your behavior towards me it will be negative you don't want negative. to talk to me more you will not tell anything to me okay for example once you tell told me some secret and i just uh, revealed it off i did not keep it as a confidential then you did not like my behavior at that point of time and you stopped trusting me then your behavior towards me changed that is trust versus mistrust if you trust somebody your behavior towards them will be positive if you don't trust then your behavior will be negative then comes autonomy versus shame and doubt so you all know what is autonomy it's like working independently okay so here if you if you are a person who wants to work in the independence then uh, you will take the opportunity you will undertake some challenge and you will start working suppose if you succeed in that then your behavior will be positive very much positive you you want recognition from everybody you will go meet everyone and tell that you are that person who completed all that will happen suppose if you cannot complete the task then your behavior will be you will always feel shame doubt you will doubt your own self okay you will doubt your own self that uh, why did you take up this task and all because you did not complete it on time that is autonomy versus shame and doubt then we have initiative versus guilt there will be few people who who are the initiators they whatever any new things if they it will come no in the company so they just want to take up those uh, task or project and they want to complete it okay so if, before anybody could uh, grab that opportunity these people initiators will come forward they will agree for the job to be done they will agree for the project to be done and they will go ahead suppose if they succeed they'll be very happy and their positive their behavior will be positive suppose if they are not able to complete that even after taking initiative then they will have the sense of guilt so if you feel the guilt uh, like why did i take others would have been done better than me so if you have that guilt then it is uh, then the behavior will be negative okay then uh, industry versus inferiority see industry is there will be few people who can become the entrepreneurs okay due to certain financial background or financial instability in the family so many number of dependents 
uh, so all that you did not take up the starting up of company but you have that entrepreneurial skills so what you will do is as soon as you join some organization uh, you try imbibing all those whatever you know okay as an entrepreneur you would have also started some company but here you will bring you want to bring all the change and all suppose if you suggested that change and if it is working really well then you will get appreciation and your behavior will be positive but suppose if that strategy is not working here in this company then everybody will point out on you for the mistake that they have done so then your your position in that will be you will feel inferior so when you feel inferior then your behavior will be inferiority itself negatively in charge then next uh, identity versus role diffusion kindly don't write anything on the screen next one is identity versus role diffusion see identity is something like you wanted some recognition okay so in the company if you are uh, with a common goal of uh, recognized by everybody so if you work on getting the recognition then if you get that recognition you will be very happy you will be satisfied and you are positively reinjured but suppose if you don't get that recognition people are not recognizing your work then you will have role diffusion then comes intimacy versus isolation okay see intimacy versus isolation is intimacy is uh, you want to work in a group so if you are given the chance to work in a group then you will do very good so whole group will get the appreciation but suppose if they give you the work in isolation okay like uh, you have to work alone individual if you have to work then your behavior will be different growth versus stagnation see many people uh, will be in the urge of getting growth they just want to have the upward movement uh, promotions in the company so if that upward movement is there you will feel so good you will feel challenging every time you will be so enthusiastic uh, with you want to co- complete the task on time and you want to you want the promotion that will be your feeling you'll feel so good you'll be positively recharged but suppose if there is no upward movement in the company nobody is recognizing your work nobody is giving you promotion then you will be stagnant there okay so you will be in the same position itself even after so many years of experience then there your behavior will be negative towards the company and the last one is industry integrity versus despair okay integrity is adjustment okay i'll tell you one i'll give you an example uh, see in a company there will be diverse people right for example old uh, there is one person who is 45 years of age and uh, that person is working from past 6 uh, years from in the company now the newcomer directly from the college uh, you have been hired one newcomer and that newcomer is uh, uh, 25 years of age around 25 years so now these two people have to work in a group okay so when they follow up with the adjustment it will always be mismatch okay uh, whatever the person says with experience this new person may not uh, ready to accept whatever the new person says or the person may not be able to listen because they they know they are capable enough and they can do better okay that ego state will come in between them but if they go accordingly they go with the adjustment they'll do the adjustment and they'll uh, get adjusted with each other and they are carrying on the work that is integrity behavior will be completely different their adjustment behavior will come but suppose if they don't adjust then always every day there will be a conflict between them so that situation we call it as despair okay so basically these are the eight developmental stages if you have these qualities okay if you have uh, this qualities your uh, behavior will be different okay if you don't have this qualities then opposite of that quality you will have okay it is given yeah. by e h erickson yes ma'am yeah, what kind of questions uh, can be come for this type okay they will give you that uh, in the eight developmental stages they will give you three which is common in this they will give one more okay which is not a uh, eight developmental stages given by eh erickson or they may ask you on the author also 
who's the author of uh, eight developmental stages for the development of personality so the answer will be e h erickson like that ma'am how to remember this authors uh, this one madam because every uh, concept is given by somebody but lot yes, of people uh, are uh, yeah. that is only this difficult. is this is starting of only the theories sir we have so many theories for the but uh, no choice you have to remember okay you can make a note like a uh, small note sir now whatever the theories i am uh, explaining no just mention the name of the theory hyphen the authors so quickly you can revise while you enter the exam uh, you can make a points of it like a points suppose they can ask you in multiple uh, this an mcqs match the following also so they will give you match the following eight developmental stages uh, eh erickson will be uh, shuffled in the answer side you should be knowing who's given this okay see apart from this theories we have few more uh, personality theories okay uh, these are two very important very early uh, theories that was given few more is also added later okay so the first one is psychoanalytical theory this is given by sigmund freud okay so psychoanalytical theory is basically on three situation three situation of the mind of the person three state of mind of the person see a uh, person's mind can be unconscious subconscious and conscious okay so sub so i unconscious is id subconscious is ego and uh, super ego uh, it's our uh, conscious is super ego okay so here this is conscious is super ego so how uh, you can relate this for example i'll tell you um, see id is nothing but unconscious is nothing but your pleasure if whatever you do for your pleasure uh for example you have been posted to the new post from monday okay you have to start your work as a general manager you were only the line manager now you have got a posting for general manager okay your pleasure tells you that you should celebrate this achievement when you will become unconscious and you want you will organize one party you want to organize one party on sunday evening sunday night okay you know, where all drinks hot drinks and all will be kept and that is what you are planning to throw a party for your friends to make them uh, know that you are, this is your achievement you have jumped from one level to another level okay then that is your ego your uh, pleasure is telling you please enjoy and you will become unconscious you will not think about anything else that moment then your subconscious comes Uh, that is your ego uh, it's like uh, your ego will stop you see uh, next day morning itself you have to start like a general manager if sunday night if you spend like a, if you spend with your friends boozing and all uh, then maybe monday morning it's not possible to reach the office on time it will be hard to get up only then how will you get up and go to office that is your subconscious somewhere it is triggering you inside your mind itself uh sunday night if you celebrate you may not be going to office in the morning only partly you are conscious again your uh, id will come and uh, your unconscious is that's okay if one day you will go late nothing will happen uh, but the celebration we require you should inform your friends about your achievement okay that is why it is called as subconscious partly you will think like this partly you will think like that then we are when you are in confusion when you are in dilemma your conscious comes okay it will say that no as a general manager you will be the role model very first day if you go late then it will not be good people will uh, take you as a idol don't set the wrong examples for the people so your consciousness will somewhat alert you inside the mind okay this is unconsciousness sub subconscious and conscious is that clear then we have next theory is uh, trait theory okay see trait theory is uh, given by jordan alport he has been explained that people's behavior depends on the inherent qualities that is heredity of the people so it will come from forefathers okay 
uh, see i'll uh, usually ask this question so that people will remember this uh, theory name okay so uh, my question is uh, why katapa killed bahubali okay why uh, katapa killed bahubali what was the reason the reason was revealed in the second part right so you people can answer me why he killed loyalty loyalty, the... loyalty right loyalty towards the mahishmatis his forefathers were royal uh, they they were loyal to the mahishmatis and they never denied the uh, instructions or the orders from the mahishmatis that is why when he received the order then he completed he he himself killed the bahubali right so that means it uh, it comes from that loyalty came from the heredity then pleasant flexibility humorous you know comedians kids will be comedians sometimes okay they they will as they see and grow up their parents so they will be having that humor in their blood we say you know few will be sentimental few will be cool few will be aggressive submissive it happens you know something happens in front of you your child behaves Uh, somewhat different way you say that your uh, grandparent was like this your uh, uncle was like this your aunt was like this so we'll compare no? we'll generally usually say that is what given in the trait theory he explains that person's behavior will depend on their heredity excuse me ma'am this humorous yes. quality is uh, inherited um, sometimes ma'am like uh, i i hope you know johnny liver yeah uh, comedian Uh, you know his uh, his daughter is also comedian sometimes it passes humorous they will also have that humor okay, okay. so then we have uh, next theory uh, it's yeah self concept theory so this theory is given by karl roger and he explains that uh, it everything person's behavior depends on the feedback that they get okay see i'll i'll give you an example every there is an employee uh, who's working really hard okay and as a manager uh, you approach that employee you visit that employee at least 15 uh, once in a 15 days and you appreciate that employee okay how that employee behavior will be if you keep on appreciating if you just tell them you are the person who's really working hard please uh, keep on your hard work keep up your hard work if you tell like this what will be the behavior positive 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 yeah. they they will be positive and they will really work hard double than that so that you should come and praise them right then suppose if, if whatever the person does there is a quality of you management people is like they will always criticize so when you always once you criticize they will try to correct their mistakes second time if you criticize again they will try little hard to correct their mistakes but if your uh, criticism is increasing if it is uh, uh, it, nobody can match that level so many times you criticize the uh, same person what they'll do how they'll behave will their behavior will be positive negative negative right they will get used to it a hey, whatever i do uh, this person will never get satisfied let me not do it only that kind of feeling they will have okay so they will be negatively reinforced so that is what explained in the self concept theory uh, if you positively give negative positive feedback if you give for the people then they will positively reinforce if you give negative feedback they will be negatively reinforced then we have social learning theory here they consider man is the social animal okay so b f skinner he explained uh, he, actually this was given by albert bandura but it was uh, popularized by b f skinner this person says that man is a social animal man doesn't have the full stop for learning whichever environment they are they keep learning okay uh, so see i i'll ask you people only suppose you are with one friend you are the type of person who will always prefer to have the house uh, house food okay you will prefer bringing the tiffin to your workplace and you will have it on time uh, at sharp at 1 o'clock you want your lunch to be done okay uh, you will have you will mingle with a person uh, who's who has become very close to you that person always depends on the junk food they love junk food and uh, it's like uh, every day they will order pizza burger all these junk food, french fries and all okay so in front of you that person is ordering every day and they are having 
will you be still dependent on the house food only or will it impact on you will it impact impact it will at least you. at least okay. once it will impact right you will also think let me order once and have it nothing will happen every day i'm having house food only no uh, once or twice in a week i can have this food also i can try so obviously junk food will be very tasty and you will get attracted and you will follow up correct let it be attire let it be eating eatables let it be style of doing makeup okay so it's like uh, very easily it gets attracted by others so that is what given in the social learning theory man doesn't have the full stop of learning they keep learning in whichever in environment they are they will keep learning okay so this was about the theories i'll quickly brief out uh, the first one was uh, type a and type b personality theory then eight developmental stages then few others we discussed first was the psychoanalytical then we had uh, trait theory self concept theory social learning theory okay i hope it is clear now uh, yes, see here the, they have been given the connection between the personality and the brain it has been so many strategies claim that person's behavior depends on the uh, brain as well because uh, whatever you do it is like the instructions coming from the brain so you should be knowing see our uh, i think you will be knowing this our right uh, right side of the brain will have the connectivity with the left side of the body left side of the brain is having the connectivity with the right side of the body okay uh, it depends like few people will be very strong with their left hemisphere of the brain few people will be very strong in the right hemisphere of the brain so people with the strong left hemisphere will have these qualities okay and people with the right hemisphere will have these qualities very strong okay so suppose if a person who is strong in both the hemisphere will have the mismatch of these qualities so first one here is in the left hemisphere you can see what and all if if you are very good in the left hemisphere you can judge yourself now in what uh, way you are better suppose if your left hemisphere is very strong you will be good in speech verbal no so whatever you speak it will be very clear to the people who are listening to you okay then uh, logical or mathematical you will be very good in math uh, just like that you will do calculus you can do calculation uh, then linear or detailed uh, these kind of people want everything to be explained in the detailed sense uh, whatever they do they'll do it in the sequential manner uh, they'll have complete control over their emotions they will be very intellectual a uh, dominant kind of people these people are like whatever they tell that only should be followed in the group of friends also you will you might have been known or experienced there will be few people who in the group they just want others to listen to them only whatever they do whatever they'll decide that will be final uh, okay so that those kind of people will be strong with the left hemisphere they'll be very active analytic kind of people they their reading writing and naming skills will be good Okay, all these are the they'll uh, complex situations also they'll make it very easier. Okay, so all these are the qualities of the people who are very strong in the left hemisphere. Then opposite of that, uh, there are few qualities where the right hemisphere people will be the people with a strong right hemisphere will have these qualities. They'll be good in music. Okay, so see everybody can't speak, you yeah, can't uh, sing. You be. okay it's like only few can sing better and few uh, that you can sit and listen why because they they are very strong enough from their right hemisphere very holistic uh, it's like very traditional orthodox kind of people they follow all the uh, rules and regulations of the particular religion pujas following of the so many mass uh, and all like that okay so very holistic uh, then uh, artistic as well uh they'll be very artistic people they'll always depend on the art they do simul they'll do all the work simultaneously very emotional these people are uh they can't have a control over their emotions they'll be very creative they'll be very quiet spiritual okay they uh, have the hope on their spirit then uh, synthetic gestural oriented always they'll be goal oriented people they can easily recognize your face all these are very silent okay all these are the uh, qualities of the right hemisphere strong right hemisphere people this is the connectivity between the personality and the brain 
and suppose if both the hemispheres are uh, of the brain is working really good strong enough then you will have few qualities of left hemisphere and few qualities of strong right hemisphere okay uh, see there is one theory given by john holland this is called as job fit theory uh, they he explained that there are various types of people uh, depending on the types they'll be having characteristics and that is how they will decide their occupation based on the nature okay see first uh, type of people is realistic people these kind of people will prefer physical activities okay so always they want some physical activities they don't uh, they don't want to sit in one place and do the work this kind of people will have the characteristics like they'll be very shy very genuine and very practical people so how what kind of occupation they will choose they will choose as a mechanic drill press operator assembly line worker or the farmer so you can see all these are um it requires the physical activities okay so that kind of occupation they will select second kind of people is investigative people okay so this kind of people requires they always prefer involving themselves in thinking understanding so these kind of people will be very curious and independent you know how the investigative people will be if you give them one clue they will go ahead uh, till the end okay that kind of people they are very curious and uh, what profession they'll choose what occupation they'll choose is they'll become biologists like doctors okay doctors nurses and all then they'll become mathematicians or the news reporters okay then we have social kind of people who always prefer activities to help and develop others so these kind of people will be very sociable people very friendly people very cooperative okay so what what occupation they will select uh, they will select the occupation like a special worker so, sorry social worker teacher at the counselor then we have conventional type of people conventional type of people are very much rule regulated they just follow the rules okay and uh, they don't want to create any confusion uh, what is the practical sense uh, whatever is correct that they will do they will not be uh, manipulating any kinds of figures or any kind of information so those kind of people we call it as conventional people so they'll be very practical and unimaginative uh, what these people will choose the job is accountant corporate managers you know in accountant accountants when they prepare the reports they have to see that there is no errors in it correct they'll be very practical whichever the evidence you are providing to me i will record that uh, transaction itself if you don't have evidence don't expect me to record the transaction they'll be very practical enough then we have enterprising kind of people uh, these people prefer activities to impress others always there'll be few in the group also in each group there'll be one or two who will be uh, who prefer always to impress others these kind of people are very very much self confident people and ambitious people they'll select the occupations like lawyer real estate agent right you can understand now what kind of people they are even real estate agents uh, they will degrade the other properties so that you can uh, take the properties from them okay with the so much confidence lawyers also with so much confidence they'll tell the lie you will believe that it's a truth okay then we have artistic type of people who prefer always creative activities uh, their characteristics will be very imaginative people idealistic people you know right artistic people um, this uh, poets and all writers uh, even if they see that one sparrow is eating the rice one only one uh, unit of rice then they they can write one full page of poem on it okay that kind of imagination these people will possess so they'll become painter they'll become musician writer interior decorators all that so this is the job fit theory given by john holland so which kind of people you you are where you can relate yourself in this any people relate yourself conventional conventional so accountants very practical you can't imagine anything you have to be unimaginative when you do your work right so you have to follow the rules regulations orders all that so you people can be conventional or it can be blend of two also maybe you people are social people will be very friendly cooperative but you are doing the job of accountant because you you will you wants to follow the rules in any procedure so this is the job fit theory i hope it's clear 
so we'll continue with the other topics in the evening with uh, mcqs on the different topics okay so okay. thank you all thank you so much we'll meet in the evening at 8